this video I'm going to show you how to set up per user pricing for your subscription business and to do that we're going to use three tools we're going to use Stripe so you must already have a Stripe account and we're going to build the application in bubble that's bubble.io that's for you building this SaaS application and to connect the two together we're going to use Pricewell and that's pricewell.io and you create an account there you can connect your Stripe account and set up the bubble integration link will be in the description below and once that's all set up we can go ahead with the tutorial okay so I'm going to show you how to do per user billing with bubble and Stripe and that's different from regular subscription billing where you charge one price per user in your application so like an, a nine dollar subscription per user this per user billing can be used for teams or companies that si sign up to your application and they want to have multiple users using the system under nine dollar per user that one card is paying for so here we go i've got a, a billing portal by pricewell here and I've got a list of current users for my company or my team and I've set up an add user functionality in bubble using Pricewell and so here's how it works we can add a new user for example I want to add Matt at Pricewell that's me as a new user they appear in this list of users here we're just counting the number in the database and we can have a look at what's happened over in Pricewell. So we got a little update event that said our subscription quantity should be now set to two. So that means our subscription has increased in quantity to two. And we can go back to the list of users and remove someone. Our count is now one. And in Pricewell, there'll be another update where subscription quantity has been set back to one again so that means uh, Stripe has been updated automatically for you and we can check that over in Stripe itself here yeah, so our subscription quantity is one let's go in and Add me again. Sorry, I've got my subscription. Add me again. Here we go. Now we've got our two users. The quantity is set to two again, and in Stripe. Reload the page and a quantity is set to two and the invoice has been updated with the new quantity of two for the next next upcoming invoice. So that's wonderful. That's all done without setting up any webhooks or anything. We just use one action uh, and the price will plug in. Now let's have a look at how it's set up in bubble itself. So mm -hmm. in terms of data, we've got uh, a users table, users data type, and a company's data type so here on the company every user has a company and here we've got our stripe fields uh, stripe customer id subscription id period end price id quantity and status and those get automatically updated by pricewell for us the key thing here is we need an email for the company that's the email of the person who created the Stripe subscription. Now our users, they have an email themselves and a company that they are linked to. So now we can, we've got multiple users for one company. Let's have a look at our page here. So here we've got a, a repeating group showing all the users in the system. They add a button for adding a new user which shows a pop-up 
So the key thing here are the workflows. So when we add a new user, when this add user button was clicked inside the pop-up, we create an account for someone using the email address. Then we set their company to the current user's company, the person who's logged in to the company, hide the pop-up. And then we run this action, update Stripe subscription quantity. This is an action from the Pricewell plugin. So we grab the current user's company's Stripe subscription ID and we count all users and add one because we just created a new account. And that's all. That's all that's required for that action and that does the, all the update in Pricewell and Stripe for us. Now when we delete a user, pressing this X button, we have another workflow here. We actually delete the user and then we run update Stripe subscription quantity and we use the current user's company Stripe subscription ID and then we just count all users with the left and we are just using this max to make sure we don't go below one. So the maximum of zero and one is one. So make sure we never go below the number quantity one. And that's it. That's really how simple it is to set up per user pricing for your bubble application. So you can have multiple users with one subscription that's charged an amount per user that are in the system.